The Mouth of Serenity, Part 1, by Robert J. Morris. The perpetual crashing of the waves, like the ever-repeating rustling of soft cellophane, the odd jagged teeth of sailboats on the horizon, the old and wise lower jaw of the sea never meeting the upper, this gargantuan mouth calls out, whispering with that soft cellophane voice. It calls out. It calls out again. It calls out for me to enter, as if I belong there, like I was spat out eons ago, and the sea has ownership over me. The sandy lips, inviting, hot under the sun, wish to meet the soles of my feet, where the real feet is to meet my soul and introduce myself once again to the sea. The teeth are gone now, as if they know something. They have retreated, as a looming darkness begins to roll in. The soft cellophane symphony turns into a choppy, melancholy rendition. The calm serenity into frenetic discord, as the upper jaw begins to reveal its enigmatic self. Not so longer do I feel at home. Not so longer do I feel invited. The rain begins, as if the choppy track is calling out to its kindred above. The waves reaching up high, as if to catch each drop as they return. The fine contrast has begun to slip and erode, bringing the sky and the sea together in a disturbing dance. A spectacle that leaves me feeling very small and at the mercy of the storm. Not so longer do I feel welcomed by the sea. Not so longer do I feel invited. The darkened mouth begins to yell and roar in a state of warning, telling all who approach to go where they shall be consumed, and consumed they shall be. The serenity shall return, and the sea will grow a new set of teeth. There will be no regrets, and nary even a splinter of guilt for those that perish in the mouth of serenity. <laughs>